The team consists of six men. Some have ties to higher education in West Virginia. Some are from outside the state. This week, the team held a series of meetings to hear how the faculty, staff, and community feel about the school's plight. Matt Winder, the president of the Fayette County Commission, summed it up in a letter the commission sent to the Higher Education Policy Commission. In the early 1990s, a decision was made to merge West Virginia Tech into West Virginia University. On the surface, the decision would provide WVU a presence in southern West Virginia. For West Virginia Tech, it could be a path to additional academic offerings and the opportunity to take advantage of WVU's economies of scale. Now, in hindsight, almost 20 years later, for a variety of reasons, perhaps some because of personalities and some based on policy, the relationship has not benefited either institution. Clearly, today, WVU is doing fine, growing in enrollment and academic standing. However, it is painfully apparent that those achievements have not filtered down to WVU Tech. In this meeting of citizens of Montgomery and current and former faculty and staff members, it's clear there is resentment towards WVU's handling of tech. Uh, since our association with WVU, you know, I feel like we're a stepchild down here. I mean, I, I really feel that way. And the lines of communication, which I thought were going to be open, after our meeting a couple years ago when Dr. Clement came in, uh, quite frankly, I've written letters up there and made phone calls and never got a response. The Canvas police here, you know, it hadn't been but six months ago, they made them take their patches off with a golden bear on them. Well, that's, a, that's important to us. It's important to this community. We're golden bears. We're not mountaineers. Mountaineers in spirit, because I love WVU. I go to all the games. That's unbelievable to do that. They, you know, to put a mountaineer on a policeman's patch in Montgomery is an insult to this community. The school, now known as WVU Tech, was established in 1895 and prides itself on its rich history of providing engineering, science, nursing, business, and social sciences. Its graduates have gone on to high-paying jobs in industry, but enrollment has dwindled to just over 1,200 students. Dr. Dino Curris is a former president of the American Association of State Colleges and Universities and chairman of the revitalization team. He was on the faculty at Tech during the 1970s. He understands the bitterness and bad feelings about the school's downfall. There's a lot of good things going on at Tech. There's some outstanding faculty. The graduates are in a big demand. Uh, often, and, and you find this in academic communities, we sometimes uh, uh, take disagreements and take them to a new level, and, and we're hearing some of that. But there's no question there have been some difficulties and some disagreements, um, and uh, hopefully we can be part of the solution. The legislature expects a report about how to fix WVU Tech on September 1st.